Greetings, precious, magnificent spirit soul, divine being that you are. And I want you to remember that and never forget it. My topic, you are greater than your story. Very, very important. You are greater than your story. I'm going to read to you a little bit. This is just a, a little synopsis, highlights of the Srimad Bhagavatam, because it's actually many, 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 many big volumes but, and great. And I'm going to read this to you. And, and in fact, the value of ancient wisdom and such um, is that not to memorize, not that you can just repeat it uh, and know all the you know, memorization of a, because uh, there's a lot of people who are good memorizers, but they never apply anything. But they, but they glorify themselves because they're so smart that they can memorize all, but they, they miss the boat. It's like a donkey carrying a load of books. They carry it around and, and parade it and show it off, but they don't have a clue about what they're really talking about. So it's not about memorizing. It's not about getting a degree in it. It's about using knowledge or even what people's experience and such so that you um they become clues for you to use to unlock um the treasure house of divine possibilities and potential and joy of being that you have and you are so that's what we use it for now here's this verily is the mind drawn to objects of the senses. Okay, that's true. The mind is always attracted to something out here. And if you take a look, everything here has a name, rock, grass, water, tree, you know, who, 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 put, who put these sounds to these um, um, parts of this world? Who who's, could say, so somebody came along and put a sound to everything that happened. Um, gave it meaning, and then pretty soon put, made a dictionary out of it, so everybody knows we're all talking about the same thing. But who wrote these? Who made these up? Who did this? Okay. Anything you study, if you're a real sleuth, you have to go to the roots of it. And so many people, they do not. They just jump into something, and they're they're in it, and everybody's talking about it, and they use the same language, and they're they belong in a group, and they also but and then they're they don't go out of that because then the people who control the group and make their money from it, and and uh, manipulate and control people from it. They want you to stick to that, so they f threaten you, you go to hell, or they give you a bribe, you're going to go to heaven if you do this, or you're going to do this. Wait a minute, these are states of mind, and yet they also are states of, of living because whatever tends to be in the mind, if you don't know better than that, people give power to. So then the mind is always attracted to objects, and here's the next part. And the objects, they attach themselves to the mind. That's where they are. But thou art neither the mind nor the sense objects. Okay, so you're not the mind. This is an implant. It's something because it comes and goes. These thoughts are temporary. You're permanent. And you're not the thoughts and you're not the mind. Okay, and the mind is not God. And people say, well, divine mind, mind is doing this. Mind, whose mind? Not my mind. <laughs> and you have to control your mind so your mind works for you and you don't work for the mind. And when you get that, you don't need a mind because you're all knowing, you're all wisdom, you're the divine being, but yet we've been giving our power to the mind. We've been giving our power to the story. And then what happens is... Um, you know, as a counselor, I work. I've worked with you know thousands and thousands of people, and um, when we when when you know how this operates, people it can it very quickly change their lives. Very very quickly when you get right to the heart of the matter. And um, what happens with the story is that we are a character in the story, and you're either the victim, the perpetrator, or the savior. And then we glorify ourselves in the mind as we relive the story, how fabulous we were, or we live the story, how they were abusive to me, and nobody wanted me, and I'm not good enough, and nobody loves me, and nothing I do ever works out, and I'm not lucky, and blah, blah, on and on and on and on. And, oh, my parents like my brother 
brother more than me, so I hate men. And then my parents, like my sister, be, I mean, I hate women. I mean, it's all this stuff, how we're relating ourselves to the situations out here when they're being projected from us on the screen, okay? And yet we're calling it real and identifying with it, just like why movies and videos are so dangerous. Even, even Freud said that. I wasn't always much of a fan of it, but he did some really good work as well. And because when you're sitting in that comfortable chair, you're relaxed and such, you're just being fed programs that are going into the unconscious and subconscious subliminally below the level of your awareness of it, yet they're influencing you and the story. So people identify with stories, sitcoms, like you know a lot of people are sarcastic to each other and they're mean to each other, the people that they say they love and, and they're always critical and putting them down and, and controlling them and telling them what a loser they are. And it's all the things... Out of love really and and so but they've seen it also in movies and people take on the caricature and they dress like they're a character I'm John Wayne man I'm I'm John Wayne and, and then I'm and somebody else and now I'm this actor over here and then I'm this and actors are actors they're learning how to play a part to fool an audience it's part of the illusion these actors are also illusionists and magicians and Babylonian carnival people who have a business plan, you see, on how to control the masses through illusion. Absolutely. And then people identify with it, and then they identify with their story as that's who they are. And then they want to always tell you their story about all their troubles and how they overcame it or they didn't and how it was to blame for it and who did it to them and who's doing it to them now. And they never get a chance because they got the wrong color or the wrong sex or they were born in the wrong family or the wrong nation and they're never going to be good enough. And then they're going to strive for it because then you're going to act like all the people who are good enough and then we're going to dress like them and buy their clothes yeah and then we're gonna and I got all of their movies and I got all of their CDs where's this is your movie come on and and then giving our power to everybody and everything outside and their story is better than my story and they're better than I am because they have more stuff than I do and and all of this so you you have all of these beautiful souls suffering because their story is not good enough or they're suffering because of their story, when where is it? Where is it? Where's my story? Oh, 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 I have to think about it. I have to remember it. I have to activate it. I have to emotionalize it. I have to get into who I hate and who's doing it to me and how I could overcome them and how I could get even and 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 then how I could prove myself and I could finally make it. And I keep trying. And if I don't make it now, I'll give myself another 10 years and then I will have made it. Made what? You're already there. But the program is you're not. You're a loser. You're not good enough. You'll never be good enough. But you can try. And then you'll have to value everything you've been told to value. Remember that movie? They're going to make it again. It's a wonderful life. It's just telling you how to take a loan out through the savings and loan so that you become a debt slave again. All these movies are predictive programming. Take a look who makes the movie. Take a look. Follow the money. Take a look. Follow the philosophy. Take a look. Who's who's? Where's where's? Who's their family? Who's their fa who's their dad? Who's their mom? Who who paying their way? Instead of just being this person, that you walk around and you are an authority on the celebrities of the world. When you are an authority on um what would you say, gaming or something like that, when they are the author then of your life. Take a moment, get back into nature, get your shoes off, get your feet on the ground, get to touching that, get to, to be real and that you're not your story. It's over. The only place it is is in your mind. And then dragging it up to get another morsel of pleasure from the past. You know, drag it up to then get even and who did that. And then you get the family all together and all. They're, they're talking about the past that's not even here. When the greatest is before you, is right this now. 
So dump the story and, and be who you really are now in this pregnant, potential-filled moment instead of continuously producing a, a, a what would you call it, um, a mental holograph of some virtual reality that you've been programmed to believe and accept is true and the part you're playing in this limited story that's been scripted by someone else and not even yourself. So I got that idea years ago. If it is to be, it is up to me. And all things are possible to me. They always are. All things are possible to you. Now, what happens, people get big old ideas, and I'll be the greatest, I'll be the best, I'll be the most, and everything. Then you gotta, then you have the competition, and then you gotta stay on it, and then you gotta defeat all of the the uh the challenges to all of this so that you could maintain your position and look good and finally have made it and be the greatest and the best, and everybody will admire you as you walk down the road and be afraid of you because you're you've made it. You're there. You da 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 da. Come on. The emperor is naked. Do you see that? Don't go along to get along. And the whole story of all history, it gets all civilizations get destroyed over and over again. And they're they're history books. And and the burning of the books. And now the cutting stopping of the, the media and, and of, of of recordings and all of this and controlling what goes out into the news and into people's ideas. No. Keep your own counsel, my dear, or work with someone who you know can empower you and enrich you. This is your eternal life, and you cannot die. This is who you are, and this, this is what you want to maximize now and invest in yourself. Okay, there's books, you read my books, these videos there are for, for you. Uh, I would say get your friends over and people and watch videos and then discuss it. Now you've got little study groups going and then let people can give a little love offering and you have refreshments, you see. And you don't have to be the teacher, but you can run then the groups and then you get your neighbors, you get your friends, you get everybody, you get family members and you start working together. And empowering each other as individuals, not trying to fulfill some old expectation that has been passed down, you know, lifetime after lifetime and struggling and working on. No, and manifest. I've got some programs com coming up manifesting, uh, mastery and manifestation, really, really important. And I'll be doing some half day and all day work up here at Shasta, also mentoring over the phone also through email and in person and retreats and at Shasta here with me. So all's possible and I do the the um, phone counseling, love offering, because it's possible for everybody. Don't sit there and, and think it's not good enough, it's not possible, it's too much, you can't do it. That's what you've been using to stop you all these all this time. Take a nice deep breath. The past is over and gone. The future does not exist, and you are right there, right there in this moment, and all things are possible to you. Do not defeat yourself anymore by your story. You are not the story. You are beyond the story, and now it's time to have a new story, and, and that story is inspiring and motivating to yourself and to others because it's all about the glory of your own divine being and your self-expression and your creativity and our empowering each other in our glorious and eternal existence. You are greater than your story.